now that we have proven the concept of time dilation, we're going to walk through a very famous thought experiment, the concept of the twin paradox. We could actually walk through and do a mathematical example talking about the twin paradox. It starts out with the basic premise that you and your twin are born on the same day. Class, always true? No, not necessarily, but I think for the purposes of this experiment, we can say you and your twin are born on the same day. Everyone okay with that? Okay, you and your twin are born on the same day. The day your twin is born, your twin is put on a ship, and that ship is traveling at 0.95 times the speed of light. As measured on the ship, the ship time, they're going to spend 10 years flying away from Earth. And then they're going to turn around and spend 10 years flying back to Earth. And my question is, when your twin gets back, steps off the spaceship, how old are both of you? Or I guess I'll say each, that's a better way to say it. How old are each of you? So again, your twin, you and your twin are born on the same day. We place your twin on a spaceship moving at 0 .5, 0 0.95 times the speed of light as, and as measured on the ship. Your twin is going to spend 10 years flying away from and then 10 years flying back to the Earth. The question is, when your twin gets off the ship, how old are each of you? First off, someone is 20 years old. Agreed? Cool. Is it you, the person who is on the Earth, or your twin, the person on the ship? Who is measuring the time? The person on the ship, right? Because this is the ship time. So your twin is 20 years old. Because that was the time measured on the ship. OK. Now, we need to figure out gamma. Gamma is clearly an important piece here. So that's going to be 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus v over c, that quantity squared in this particular case. 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus 0 0.95 times the speed of light divided by the speed of light, that quantity squared. And you can see how the speed of light cancels out when you uh, describe the speed of an object moving relative to the speed of light. So I need now gamma in this situation. 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus 0 0.95. figure out the time. We're clearly going to use the equation time equals gamma times t naught. But which time is 20 years? Is that the proper time or the other time? The proper time, the time measured at rest relative to the events that are taking place. So the 20 years is the proper time, right? The time measured on the ship is the 20 years. So the time for you, the twin, is going to be the gamma, 3.20256, multiplied by the proper time, which is 20 years. Oh, by the way, notice that uh, gamma is going to have no dimensions because velocity divided by velocity is going to be no dimensions. So time is? 64.0512. Thank you. Fine. So 64 years old is your age. In other words, your twin, who was born on the same day as you were, steps off the ship and is 20 years old 
and you are 64 years old. We'll try that again. So your twin, who was born on the same day as you, steps off the ship and is 20 years old, and you are 64 years old. Right? Sure. Sure, Mr. Palmer, that makes sense. The fun part, of course, is that we've done experiments which have proven this. In, I believe, the 1970s, when there have been all sorts of experiments, but here's one. They took two atomic clocks, placed them next to one another, made sure that they had the exact same time. What you need to know about an atomic clock is that they, uh, it's basically a clock that shows the time to a very precise number. It's very, very accurate. They left one of the clocks on the Earth. They took the other clock, put it on a plane, and flew it around for 24 hours, brought the two clocks back next to one another. And the clock that had been on the plane had gone through fewer seconds than the clock that was on the Earth. And they went through and did all the calculations as well, and proved that the uh, calculations predicted the time difference. Now, the key here is that the time difference was very, very small. Because we can't get up to 0.95 times the speed of light. We just, at this point, we as humans can. There are all sorts of different particles which can. And we've seen effects of this for particles, but we've never actually put any sort of creature through this. So, what if, let's play a couple what if games. What if we were able to set up some sort of instant, communi video, instant video eye chat between your twin and you. You are on the surface of the planet, your twin is on the ship while your twin is flying through the vacuum that we can't breathe at 0.95 times the speed of light. According to you, who can describe what the actions of your twin would look like? They would be moving at approximately 1 over 3.2 times your speed. Everything that they do. Because their time is approximately one third of your time. If they were to take and drop something, it would actually appear as though that were falling at one third the acceleration due to gravity. All of their biological processes, everything is moving at approximately one third of what you would consider to be normal. So what do you look like according to your twin? class. You, everything's moving faster. 3 point time, 3.2 times as fast. Everything. So you have actually been through 64 years of life and your twin has actually been through 20 years of life. Because time is not absolute. Time is relative. Do you remember in 1887 Michelson Morley proved that the aether didn't exist? And remember scientists had some issues with that? Do you think this one went over well? Oh yeah! That makes sense, Einstein. I got it. Absolutely. My twin's going to be 20. I'll be 64. I believe you. Right? It took, a, it took a fair amount of time for this. I mean, once we proved them to be correct, and they were able to do various things in the 19, uh, 1919, actually, to prove various tenets of the 